there is nothing that should ever trump a parent's right to decide for their underage children what is best for them. Kaiser Middle School parent Sandra Isley worries what would happen next if a vaccine petition for seniors or students 17 and older became a law. If we allow it to happen to one child, then guess what? It's soon going to be any child. And soon parents are not going to have an input on what happens to their child. Four members of the faculty at Appalachian State University filed the petition last fall. If things move forward, the change would take effect July 1st. I mean, if you want to talk about requirements, make sure the students that graduating are fluent in reading. That's what I be concentrating on. I think we're losing our whole focus with what education is really all about. And then you're going to only do 17 and up. What's that actually going to accomplish? Kelly Johnson's 10th grade son attends Northern Guilford High School. He is vaccinated. She believes a mandate would create another problem. It's a big problem. It's a big mistake. And all they're going to end up doing is forcing more people to step back from that line who might have already been saying, you know, let's just get the shot. Governor Roy Cooper says more people should get vaccinated, but he doesn't agree with the mandate right now. We have a number of vaccines that are mandatory, but have undergone a lot, uh, a lot more history and scrutiny. And I think that I'm, I'm going to agree with my health officials that at this point, it's not time to do that. And